Hey guys, welcome, it's Doombreaker again, and I'm here with another visual basic tutorial. So, um, to start off, this video took ages to uh, record, and if you want to know why, it's because Fraps decided to be a colossal bitch and not work. So I basically had to reinstall Fraps in order to uh, record again. I think it has something to do with my computer crash uh, from a week ago. But anyway, I'm also learning how to use the UDK, which is the Unreal Development Kit. It's a tool uh, used for map making and making 3D games. Um, if you want to um, have a tutorial on that, and uh, so I can show you guys everything I learned, uh, just send me a PM or post it in the comments below saying uh, I want an Unreal Development Kit tutorial. And uh, I'll be off doing that. So um, this tutorial was requested by a subscriber of mine. And with my awesome video editing skills, I'm going to post a comment on screen right now. So he basically asks if I can um, make a computer uh, do something on a specific time. And the time is entered in a text box. And for an example, he uses uh, a shutdown. I'm also going to be showing how to shut down your computer. So, um, yeah, let's start. So this is a program I made for myself. Uh, I can put things I have to remember in here, uh, the time in here, and just start the timer, stop it, and all that stuff. But uh, I'm going to use this program as an example for what I'm going to do. So uh, you can ignore this. Uh, this is the first thing you need to do. So you need to declare format as a string. And the string is hh colon mm. So um, it needs to be this and nothing else. So hh stands for hours. Uh, the colon stands for colon, of course. And the mm is minutes. Then we have this. Ignore it. Ignore all this, ignore this, and then we have uh, declared time as daytime is equal to daytime now. So it's going to um, make a new variable, a daytime variable uh, called time, and it's going to be the current time, uh, which now is um, 1423. Then we say declare time string as a string. So we're going to uh, use um, a string for this. It's equal to time, which is the date time, to string with the format that we declared here. So um, this is going to say that this is the time. So 14.24. And then this code is going to... Uh, Put this information about uh, the time into a string called time string with this format so uh, hours and minutes and now to let uh, the computer do something you just put an if statement so it's this if statement if time string so which is the current time is equal to Textbox one dot text, which is where we are going to uh, put our um, our time. Then you do this. So um, this is the code that needs to be executed. Um, to make this accurate, I would say that you uh, run a timer every second to update the time, and just put this code into the timer, just to make uh, things cool. And uh, let's debug it, and I'm going to show you what it really does. So, it's taking a lot of time here. Um, let's say 14, 26, then you need to say hello. And we start, and we wait. So, this is using the uh, speech AP, A, AP, I or how do you call it? Hello. As you just heard, it turned uh, 1426 and he said hello. 
So if you want a tutorial on how to make your program talk, just uh, post it in the comments too, and I'll make that for you. Uh, but now the shutdown part of the tutorial. So uh, this is just a program that um, with a button for shutdown and a button for restart. Um, I'm not going to debug it, of course, but this is the code. So for shutdown, you say, <clears throat> excuse me, for shutdown, you say system diagnostics process starts shutdown and then you say slash s. Uh, slash s means shutdown slash r means restart and uh, you also have i l uh, a m t and c so uh, what does this all do i displays a guided user interface um, so yeah l uh, is log off and it cannot be used with m S is shut down, R is restart, A is abort a system shutdown, so if the system is shutting down, you can abort it by using the A. M, computer name, is uh, to remotely shut down a computer on your network. So uh, I think you need access to that computer, but um, which is quite obvious. But anyway, uh, T with two axes, so the axes are seconds uh, and the T is uh, basically a timeout so you can let it shut down in five seconds you're not going to use this as much because we are using the uh, time here so yeah and C is a common so you can um, before it shuts down you can uh, show a comment on screen saying like uh, Trojan virus detected, uh, shutting down, just to prank someone. So um, that's how you do it, guys. If you like the video, please um, like it. And if you like my stuff, please subscribe. Also, uh, follow me on Twitter and Facebook. I'll be posting uh, some behind-the-scenes stuff and stuff that didn't make the video on my Facebook. I'm also going to uh, post some random stuff on Twitter. Um, so yeah, if you have a Twitter or Facebook, follow me, like my page, and uh, it's going to be awesome. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.